Hey guys, here's another um, update video. As you can tell, I am breaking out pretty bad on my face, on my neck. Um, it's pretty painful. It's um, pretty hard to like eat and put my mouth because it like stretches my skin here. Um, so the rest of my body though is doing pretty good. Uh, I started taking a new medication yesterday. Um, and it's funny, I, funny story with this medication yesterday, for the first time I took it yesterday, and, um, I had dinner, and I took it, and I was, like, cleaning up the table, and I started to feel kind of, like, lightheaded, like, a little bit, like, kind of tired, kind of lightheaded, and then um, I went and I sat on the couch and I was like literally like high like I was like my whole body was like floating and I was like my eyes were heavy and I just like felt good and relaxed and light and I was like that for like 30 minutes and then it just like kind of passed and it was just such a weird experience um, I'm gonna tell my doctor about it, but it was kind of weird. So, anyways, I don't know if it had anything to do with that. I mean, that was the only thing that was different was the new medication. Maybe it reacted with the other ones, or I don't know. But then, well, it's two of those pills a day. So that was the first pill. No, that was the second pill. It didn't happen with the first pill. I want the second one. Today, I already took the first pill, and it didn't happen. So. We'll see. Um, I'm just going to continue to take it through the weekend. Today's Saturday and I'm going to continue to take it. And so we came out with my husband to find him some clothes that we're going to, um, that he's going to wear to a wedding. And, um, so anyways, um, so I'm waiting in the car. My kids are, my kids are sleeping over here. So these things also get super itchy. Like they itch like crazy and they burn like crazy. And so all of these didn't actually, they weren't, they never were like actual blisters. They just like, they just show up as a scab. Like all of a sudden, like I'll itch, like it gets itchy and I'll like scratch it and it gets damp. It gets like a little bit wet and that little wet turns into a scab. And then that's it. And then if I like try to take off that scab, like even if it's a little light scab, um, if I take it off, uh, it just kind of starts bleeding. And this like this is all like dry blood, which honestly is good because then it's like a normal scab. Like this is like a like regular people normal scab because regular people normal scabs bleed my autoimmune disease scabs are usually like this you see how this is this is like yellowish it's just like a it's just like a weird scab like these are all just like weird scabs these are normal scabs these are bleeding they bled it's like a regular cut scab so that's actually a good thing. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys how, um, just kind of like um, do almost like a daily vlog and show you guys my progression and my healing or not healing and um, for myself too so that I can keep track of what's going on and see how things are reacting or how my body's reacting to the medication, to the treatment. Um, I'm trying to do natural treatment, although I am taking um, prednisone right now. I have to take prednisone because my symptoms are so severe. You know, all this blistering is so severe 
that if I didn't, it would be way, way worse. Um, and we, um, we have to keep it manageable, you know, in order for me to continue this treatment. So, um, anyways, that's how it is today. Today is the 24th, I believe, Saturday. Um, I started the new antifungal medication yesterday. Um, I also take LDN. I take low dose naltrexone. And I was taking t three milligrams a day. But two days ago, I upped it. Well, my doctor and I uh, agreed on upping it to twice a day. So now I'm taking six milligrams a day. Um, we'll see how that works out. I also take progesterone. And I was taking one 180 milligrams a day. Now I take two 180 milligrams a day. And I also started that two days ago. Um, so those are the new updates. Those are the new things that I'm doing different as of a couple days ago. Um, so... So far, this is what I have. I, I've, I'm only flaring mostly from here up. Um, I have so, like my chest is actually kind of bad right now, but my back, my arms, everything else is pretty good. So um, I'll keep you guys updated, and we can see this progression and how I'm doing and. Uh, emotionally, honestly, it's very, 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 very hard. Um, it sucks to, um, to have to take it easy again. I've, uh, because I can't really turn my head too much. If I turn to the sides, you know, it kind of burns because it, it pulls on your skin. So I can't really turn my head to my sides very much. Or up, you know, I can't really do that. Or when I eat this this movement it pulls on my skin it also sucks um, so I'm in quite quite a bit of pain um, actually today I got this new ointment um, it's called it's silver up I'll, I'll put the names of all of these medications on the box or information below description below but it's like silver so by a design or something like that um, and it's supposed to help with the burning and um, it's an antifungal too I think so I just put some of that today it seems to help a little bit um, honestly I think it does help a little tiny bit uh, with the burning but um, kind of feels like you have like an Indian burn you know like when you when you pull on your skin or whatever and you feel that burning that's what it feels like and so emotionally it's it's pretty hard um to have to keep going through this for so long i mean it's just like having that little tag on the back of your shirt that kind of like pokes at you and it's like itchy and it pokes at you and it doesn't like really hurt but it's so annoying and it's so bothersome and um I'm sorry my hands are getting tired um but then you get home and you're like, uh, take it off and you're comfortable again. Well, I've been like that for like 10 months, like uncomfortable. I can't get this itching. I can't get this burning. I can't get this pain off. Like I can't just like go home and take it off. It's just always there. And after 10 months of doing this, it's, it just sucks. It wears on you. It wears on your spirit. You're like, oh my gosh, when is this ever going to end? When am I ever going to have like a normal life again like why can't I be normal like everybody else and it sucks and you get these depressing times you get these discouraging times but I am doing so well in the other areas of my body that I can't let that I can't let this just bring me down I have to have to have to stay positive there's so many other things that I can do I can still kind of sort of hug my children I can still kind of sort of uh, hold them so as long as I can do that, I am very happy. I can dress them, I can change their diapers. Uh, I can do a lot of things, 
there's a lot of things that I can still do so I am very grateful for that I am grateful for you guys um, if there's anything that I can do to help you guys uh, who are also going through this or something similar I always just hope that these videos can offer some kind of positivity no negativity no uh, bad stuff so um, I'll keep you guys posted um, please uh, let me know whatever you want to know ask me questions and I will see you guys next time